Hey everyone and welcome to the 14 minute ab challenge. Your abs are going to get no rest except for when we switch from move to move so it's going to be awesome. I'm going to show you everything that we're going to do first and then we're going to go. It's going to be quick and it's going to be hopefully a great time and a great ab burn. So between every single move we're going to be doing a plank movement for 30 seconds and that plank movement is hip lifts. So this is a very isolated movement. You're really, really wanting to focus in on using your lower abs to lift your hips. It's a tiny movement. So you're gonna get into a forearm plank right here. Head pulling forward, Here's heels pulling back, belly button pulled in. And what you're gonna do is really concentrate on pulling up with your lower abs to kind of lift your butt towards the sky. Almost like you are gonna start to go into an upside down V, but we're not. So you're in your starting position and then you're lifting, really pulling with your lower abs, back to plank. Lifting, back to plank. So really pull in with those lower abs to lift your butt up towards an upside down V position, but you're never gonna go all the way into that upside down V. So that is hip lifts. Uh, and our four exercises that we're gonna do with hip lifts in between <laughs> are gonna be single V twists. So. I like to kind of let my feet hang off the mat here, otherwise it kind of catches and pulls the mat up. So hands are going to be up and we're going to reach to the opposite leg. So just like that. And then we're going to reach to the other side. So you're going up into a V and you're twisting to that opposite leg. Just like that. So that is a single V twist. Then we're going to do, of course, hip lifts. Then we're going to do an extended crunch. So we're going to start all the way in. You're kind of crunched up and then we're going to extend out and crunch in. So just like this. And so you only wanna extend your legs as low as you can keep your lower back on the mat. Um, I'm on kind of a weird slant, so it's a little awkward. But <laughs> when you extend your legs out, you may be able to put them way down here and your abs can hold it. But if your lower back is starting to come off the ground, you wanna raise them up a little bit. So in and out, just like that. So then of course we'll do hip lifts. And the next exercise is gonna be roll ups. Yes, roll ups are fun. So legs go out. Again, kind of hang off the mat a little or you'll pull your mat up at yourself. Hands are gonna to point to the sky and you're going to roll up and back. Just like this. So if you need a little momentum, your hands can come behind you and kind of help you roll right there. But for a little more challenge, point them to the sky and for even more challenge you can point them towards your feet so they're not helping you at all or put them on your chest I may not do that today <laughs> uh, so then we'll do hip lifts and then the last thing we're gonna do is scissors so one leg up one leg out they're gonna switch hold for a beat switch hold for a beat just like that all right so those are all of our exercises we are going to go through this three times it's gonna take 14 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we will start with an exercise, um, single V twists, and then we'll go into hip lifts. So between every move, we are doing hip lifts. All right, so I will tell you when to stop, when to go, when to switch. We're gonna have about five seconds to transition from the exercise to flip over into hip lifts. So do it nice and quick uh, so that you don't miss any of the interval. All right, if you're ready, we're gonna start. If you're not, pause me, look at those moves again if you need to and we are going to get your abs going. So starting with that single V twist, everybody ready? Get into position and up. So you're gonna be coming up onto your butt. Use those abs to pull your torso up and your leg, they're meeting in the middle and you are twisting to the outside of your opposite foot. So the opposite hand and opposite foot are coming together. You got 10 seconds left here. So keep on, keep it on. Sit up into those V's, use those abs. And last one, and we're gonna flip. So flip over, and we are going into hip lifts now. So a little movement here, and then back into a beautiful plank. So really pull with your lower abs. Really pull up and then back to plank. And you don't wanna overdo it and go way back and dip your lower back. Just pulling up and then back to neutral. So really pull that belly button in towards the sky to lift your hips. You got five seconds left here. 
And then we're going to extended crunches and switch. So extended crunches and go. So you're gonna extend and crunch. Keep that lower back on the mat. It is okay if your legs are going really close to straight up to the sky. That's all right. As long as you can feel your abs engaged, feel them working, you're all good. That's what we're going for here. Ab engagement. All right, we've got three seconds left here and then we're gonna go back to hip lift. So flip and we'll start in three seconds. Two, one, all right, and lift and back to plank. So really, really focusing on pulling up with those lower abs, but going to the sky. This is a very concentrated movement, so you should really feel it there. And of course, everywhere in your abs is working to keep you in that beautiful plank. <laughs> we are going to go for six more seconds, and then we're switching into roll-ups. And switch. So we're flipping over, legs go out, arms go up and roll so you can either reach to your feet you can reach to the sky however you want to do it you might do some kind of every other here <laughs> and if you need to put your hands behind your head for momentum like so <laughs> otherwise just keep them up to the sky and we are almost done here. Get one more in and flip. So we're going back to hip lifts. By now your lower abs should be feeling the burn. And go. So lifting and lowering. Really focus like you're pulling your abs up into your spine. And just, it's a teeny tiny movement, guys. Little lifts. Pulling up and then heading back into a beautiful plank. Five seconds left. And then we are into scissors. And switch. So we're gonna flip around. One leg up, one leg out, and go. So hold for a beat and switch. Again, lower back is pressed to the floor. So it may help to think, tilt your pelvis towards your face a little bit and press that lower back down. So you're gonna just hold for a second and then switch. Probably not even a second, it's just switch, beat, beat, beat. So you're just switching. You just don't wanna be flailing. All right, we're gonna be done now. So we're flipping around and we are going back into those hip lifts right now. So lift and lower. Teeny tiny move, very effective. Engage, engage, it's good work practicing engaging your transverse abdominis. <laughs> so just lift and lower. And we are going to be at the start of round two. After this, five seconds. Teeny tiny lift, keep on going. Uh, yeah, we're switching. <laughs> All right, so we're flipping back around and we are going to do those V raises and go. So you're reaching to that opposite foot, opposite hand, opposite foot. I never know a good way to say that. <laughs> so just push through here. You're doing great things. It is a little bit of a challenge workout. So your abs should be hopefully feeling it. Almost done here though. Get one more in and flip over. And we'll start in two, one and lift. So if this isn't gonna work for you, <laughs> or it gets to be too much, you can just hold a regular plank as well. But if you're not, keep those teeny tiny lifts, almost like you're going back into an upside down V. Core is engaged, belly button is pulling back to the spine. Five more seconds, almost done here. And we're going into extended crunches. So flip around, laying out and go. So extending and crunching, extended crunches. <laughs> Just like the name, keep that lower back pressed 
and keep on moving. Do your best to just keep going for every interval. You can do it. After this round, we've only got one more. So you're about halfway done here. And you have about one more of these. And we're gonna flip around to go back to that hip lift. And go. So lifting and back to regular plank. So baby little V here. You're doing great. Really focus on using those lower abs to pull up. Like they're pulling towards your spine and lifting your butt. A few more seconds here. Last five. And then we are going into roll ups. And switch. So we're going to be rolling up right now. So roll. Remember, if you need momentum, throw those hands back and let them help you a little bit. Otherwise, just keep them up and keep on rolling. This is a great ab burner. I'm hoping I'll be feeling it tomorrow. I'm feeling it now, that's for sure. <laughs> we got a few more seconds here, last five seconds. And we are back to hip lifts. We are at the end of this round so hip lifts now and then we're going into scissors so keep on lifting little baby lift <laughs> really engaging those lower abs be sure to focus on it the whole time if you really focus on what you want to be engaging you'll have better engagement <laughs> and almost done and three and two and done. All right, so we're flipping around for scissors. So one leg up, one leg out, and go. So again, lower back to the mat, switching, and just pausing for a second after each switch so that you're not just flinging your legs around. You never want to just be flinging around. Then you're not getting much out of it. All right, we've got eight seconds left here. And then we are on to the very last round. Yay! Yay for being almost done. All right. And we are going into hip lifts for the last time. So little baby lifts. I almost forgot these <laughs> and went to single Vs. But you never want to forget the hip lifts. So just little baby Vs. 10 more seconds here, and then we are on to that very last round. Almost done, and switch. All right, so single Vs for the start of the last round, and go. So coming up on your butt each time, and twisting opposite arm to opposite foot. Or twisting across your body to the opposite foot. <laughs> However, you think about it, that makes it make sense. And we have 10 seconds left here. Almost done. You can do it. It's the last time for these. And last one, and flip. So we're flipping around. It's like my shirt. Start those hip lifts right now. So up and down. Little baby lift. And then back to plank. Baby little movement. Doing awesome, guys. You're almost done. Really pull up with those lower abs. Really focus it. Last five seconds or four. <laughs> almost done. And switch. So we're going to that extended crunch for the last time. And go. So out and in. I swear that just started vibrating. <laughs> so in and out here, keeping that lower back pressed to the mat. You don't want a big arch. We are almost done. Seven seconds left here. And then we're into hip lifts. And last one, and done. All right, so hip lifts 
roll ups, scissors. All right, switch. We're almost done. <laughs> that list seems a lot longer than I was expecting it to seem. Ant, ah. <laughs> so hip lifts, little baby lifts. You're doing great, guys. Almost done. Lift and back to plank. Little tiny lift and back to plank. Use those lower abs. Pull, pull, pull. And switch. So we're going to roll ups next. Get ready and go. So rolling up and rolling back. Really keep that roll back controlled. You don't want to go crashing to the mat here. <laughs> crashing to the mat is painful and not good for you. And it also doesn't ease your abs. <laughs> so keep rolling and then slowly lowering. We're almost done here. Five seconds. So get one more in. And flip around for hip lifts or regular plank if you need to. So go. So lift and lower. Little baby lift like a little baby V. I'm sure you're tired of hearing of that by now. <laughs> so really pull those abs. Pull the lower abs up and then back to plank. Beautiful planks here. We've got four seconds left. And then we are on to our last two intervals. And switch. So we're going to scissors. I've got bugs all over my mat. And go. So last scissors here, guys. Doing great. Remember, just pause and then switch. Lower back to the mat. You don't want to arch. Legs as straight as you can keep them. I can tell mine are bending, <laughs> but that's okay if they get a little bendy. Just try to keep them as straight as you can. We're almost done here, last few, and switch. All right, so hip lifts and that's it. This is the end of the workout. You're doing great things, and go. So lift, back to plank. Pulling those lower abs to the sky. Almost done. <laughs> this is the end of the workout, guys. End of your ab work for the day. Put in a solid 14 minutes here. <laughs> Not many breaks. Last few seconds. Lifting, lowering, last one, and done. All right, we're finished. That was our 14 minute ab challenge, no breaks. <laughs> so I'm glad that you joined me there. Uh, you can really do this workout with whatever you want. I like to do abs with my cardio. Uh, I ran intervals this morning and then did this as my ab work. So use this workout however works best for you. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.